Hello, welcome to Manchester United News Channel. Manchester United have made Harry Maguire and Kaleido Koulibaly their top centre-back targets this summer, according to reports. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is set to spend big when the window reopens, as he looks to overhaul his uninspiring squad. Top on his list of priorities will be a centre-back, a position that Manchester United have needed to strengthen for quite some time. Jose Mourinho failed with moves for Maguire, Toby Alderweireld, Diego Godin and Milan Skriniar last year, before his toxic tenure came to a bitter end in December. According to ESPN, United will return for Maguire this summer, and the England international is a top target alongside Koulibaly as they look to bolster the heart of their defence. It will come as music to the ears of supporters, who have watched their side leak 52 goals this season in the Premier League. Manchester United are also believed to be out of the running for highly rated Mathis de Ligt. The decision was made by the club ahead of the Champions League semi-final, because of concerns about his weight. De Ligt is the captain of Ajax at just 19 years old and gave his side the lead, before their monumental collapse against Tottenham in Amsterdam on Wednesday night. Barcelona are now set to make the most of their concerns, and Pants and are keen to tie up a deal for the Dutch international. Yesterday, Manchester United manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is expecting Ando Herrera to make an announcement over his future soon, having been strongly linked with Paris Saint-Germain. Herrera joined United in 2014 from Athletic Bilbao and won the club's Player of the Year award in 2016-17, but his contract expires at the end of this season. He fell out of favour under Jose Mourinho, while he has struggled with injuries lately, but Herrera enjoyed a resurgence following Solskjaer's initial appointment in December. United reportedly balked at Herrera's contract demands, however, and PSG are reported to have agreed a deal with him for the start of next season, with Solskjaer expecting the 29-year-old to confirm what his future holds soon. In another deal, Manchester United have been hit by a fresh summer blow in the upcoming transfer window, after Jadon Sancho turned down the chance to join them. United are facing up to the fact that they will be playing in the Europa League next year. It comes after a dramatic decline in form under Solskjaer, after an initial brilliant burst which has left them outside of the Premier League top four. One winning seven has confirmed their spot in Europe's second-tier competition, but the Red Devils are set to splash the cash anyway. Ed Woodward is desperate to see the club back challenging for titles and it prepared to bankroll Solskjaer as a result. One mooted target was Sancho of Borussia Dortmund, who has had a stellar year in the Bundesliga. The former Manchester City youth product is their third highest goal scorer with 12, only behind Pace Alcasa and Marco Reus. And for assists, the Englishman leads the way in Europe's top five divisions with 15, while also making a name for himself on the international stage. The 19-year-old has four caps to his name after breaking into the England side earlier in the season, when he made his debut against Croatia. It has led a host of top clubs chasing his signature, one of them being United who are keen to bolster their attacking options. Solskjaer has demanded faster and fresher options on the wing and young English talent is the priority. Reports had revealed that United were prepared to fork out around £100 million for the starlet, but Sancho has made a decision on his immediate future. The Sun report that the Camberwell-born ace has turned down the chance to play for the Red Devils. The news will come as a big blow to Solskjaer's plans for next season. But there are other options on his wish list with Swansea's Daniel James also being touted to make the move to Old Trafford.